So let's start by creating a project. I'm going to use the NCS project tool that is bundled with NSO to create my project structure. So I call this the access project. And as you can see here, the NCS project tool has created a basic structure for me within ncs.conf, meaning I can start the NSO in here. It has pre-created, for example, the packages directory and so forth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create the git repository in here. It's very important to version control all the files in a project like this. What I'll do is I'll call it git init to create an empty repository. When building and running this, it will generate files in, for example, the logs directory that I don't want on version control. I will therefore create git ignore files in the directories where files that I don't want to version control are created. So this will simply create git ignore files in the cdb directory, in the state directory, and in the logs directory. And these git ignores basically say, ignore all files but the git ignore file itself. The NCS project also creates setup.mk files. This is a dynamically generated make file that is included. I don't want to version control that either, so I'll add this to my local git ignore. With that in place, I'm now ready to add all the files to git. And I'll just commit this, calling it my first commit. With that in place, we now have a good starting point for our project, and I can actually call make all start, which will start up NSO for me. Like that. The next step is to install the iOS NED that we will use in this project. I have previously downloaded the signed installer, and now I'll unzip that in a temporary directory. So this will generate the normal tar zip in here that I will then unzip in my packages directory. The reason I unzip it is because the NCS project tool needs the iOS NED or any NED in an unzipped format. So with that in place, I can remove the temporary directory, like this. The next step is to add it to the project metadata file so I can have the make file generate the netsims for me automatically. So what I've done here, I've added the netsim instruction to create two devices and prefix them iOS, meaning that I will have two devices called iOS 0 and one called iOS 1. I've also added it like this as the local package so that it's covered by the make file. So with that in the product metadata, I can do an NCS project update dash yes, yes to override the setup.mk file, and now I can actually do make netsim. So that will create the two devices for me. Please also note that it creates an init file. So this file contains all the configuration needed for NSO to be able to connect to those netsims. So after that, I'll do a netsim start like that. And now if I go into the CLI, I'll start by doing a common mistake that I do all the time. 
So I go into config mode. I do a load merge NCS CDB NetSim devices in it. And now we receive an error. And the problem is that I haven't told NSO to reload the packages. So it doesn't know about the iOS net yet. So I'll exit this. I'll do a packages reload. That went well. So back into config mode and load merge. So what I've done now is I've imported the devices so I can do a devices list. And I can see them in here. So last thing I'll do is I'll sync from them to update the config in NSO. And there we are. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a configuration like this loaded into NSO using the NetSims. So what I'll do is I'll open up the CLI into one of the NetSims. I'll choose the iOS 0 version. How I'll do that is I'll go into config mode and I'll do a load merge on that file that I had which is called device config. Here we can see the configuration loaded into NetSim. So what I'll do is I'll commit this, I'll quit the NetSim, then go into the NSO CLI, and I'll do it devices, device, iOS zero, sync from. Now if I look at the running config of that device, I'll see that it has actually synced all the configuration. For example, the Polisur here. So with that in place, we are actually ready to start creating our service. To do that, I will export this configuration into an XML file and we'll use that XML file as a service template later on. I do that by piping it to display XML and then save it, giving it a file name. So I'll just call this iOS zero config dot XML. And that file will look like this. So what I'll do is I'll start cleaning it up a bit removing anything that's not related to our service. This is our switch port interface, I'll keep that. This is the trunk port, I'll keep that. The VLAN on the service is 607, so just remove the other ones. So by doing this, then I'll have a configuration file that we can use as a basis for the service. So let's take this and create a service. Here I'm going to use the NCS make package to create a service called Access, which will be a simple template-based service. So this creates an Access directory, and if we look at that, we'll see that it test created a bunch of files. So again, had this been a real project, I would have added the Access directory to Git to have this version controlled as well. So with that in place, I'm going to start looking at the configuration again and see how we can get that into the service template. And add the access package as a local package as well. like that. 
So what I'll do is I'm going to copy this configuration into the service template and then start modeling it in Yang at the same time, replacing, for example, the hard-coded iOS 0 here for a variable. Let me start by opening up the Access Projects template to this one. I'm going to remove this that was auto-generated. Switch back to this and copy this entire thing into this. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'm going to open up the Yang file. So here, the first thing I'll do is I'm going to replace this leaf list with just a simple leaf. So it will only be one device. So after doing that, I will switch out the iOS 0 to refer to that value. The next thing I see that we need is a customer name. And I will actually use the name in here to refer to the customer name. So I'll just change this to customer name like that. Same thing there. And now I'll replace. So if we search for customer A in here, see that it's used at some different places in the configuration. So what I'll do is I'll replace customer A uh, with an XPath expression referring to customer name. Okay, so the next thing we want to add as a parameter is the VLAN. So same thing here, we have the value 607, so I'm going to add that as a parameter to the Yang model. Let's call it VLAN. Make it a mandatory value. And I just make it a UN16 for now. So again, I'm going to replace 607 with VLAN. So all the places it says 607, it will now use the value VLAN. And the last thing we need to fix are the names of the gigabit ethernets. So this is the trunk and this is the access. So I'll simply add two more leafs here. So I call this The access interface mandatory true. Then I'll make a copy of the trunk interface. So just call these as strings. So here I can enter, for example, gigabit ethernet zero slash one. What I'll do is I'll use an XPath function called substring to get the name out of that. So what I'll do is call substring on access interface. And remove the first 16 characters. So that will convert gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 to just 0 slash 1. And now I'll do the same thing here. But instead of the access interface, I'll use the trunk interface. So with that in place, I think we have everything we need in our template ready. So what I'll do again is I'll run NCS setup update dash Y to create the NCS project update dash Y. 
like that. And now I can make this access package. So let's go into the CLI and do a packages reload. I'll also look at the packages opera status to make sure everything is good and it looks good. So now I should have an access service. I'll give this the customer name Cisco. Call it device iOS 1 VLAN 1000 access interface gigabit ethernet and the trunk port. Now if I do a commit dry run, I can actually see that I have a working service that will send this configuration to the iOS 1 device. Set up the policer, set up the VLAN, and so forth. That looks good. I'll just commit it. And with that in place, we have a working service in NSO.